do a tutorial today and I bet you can kind of guess what's happening. I've got a whole selection of napkins. They're really, really pretty ones. Some are ones I've got recently, some are old as the hills. Some I got gifted to me. Anyway, so we're gonna have a take a look through those and we're gonna use some of those and we're gonna make these uh, envelope folios. So I've already got a couple of them put together so you can kind of see what's gonna happen, right? You see how that folds up like that? And I, I have some together already just for speed so you can kind of get an idea. So this one has one, two, three, four envelopes. And you can see these ones are kind of junk mail type envelopes. These ones were from uh, cards that we had gotten given. So this is just three. And then these were from these were from letters, and so I just covered the address because I obviously didn't want to put that on. I tried painting it, but the, it showed through the paint, so my paint isn't very thick, I guess. And if I made it thicker, uh, the paper bent a bit. So anyway, these ones we'll put together so you'll see exactly how I glue it together. And then I wanted to show you some examples of what they can look like done. So this is one that I got given to me recently, and you probably saw that if you looked at uh, my goals video for April goals, wrapping up March. And so this is, I, I have done this before, but just seeing it again reminded me, oh my goodness, yes, I haven't done one of these in a while. And so, so oh, I guess I'll show you back too, so you can see that. She de just decoupaged, um, first she decoupaged, if you can see it, a pattern, like a sewing pattern underneath, and then she put a napkin over top. So it's actually got a couple layers, which is really neat. And so then you can just fill the pockets, and you can use it like this, just singly, or you can stick it in like a, a pocket in, in a journal. So then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to do one like that. So I did a little different because I decided to decoupage on the both sides and including the, the, the flap. So you can see that mine looks a little different. And I'll show you how to do this. And I definitely recommend decoupaging with napkins, like putting napkins if you're going to collage this part. Otherwise, you should use a template. It's very hard to get this line straight. Napkins or something you can see through, I guess is what I really mean. Anyway, I'll show you all about that when we go to do this one. We'll decoupage a napkin on that one. All right, and then I'm just holding it with a paper clip. So that one could be... Um, just as it is, or you could fill it with something. Now, what if you don't have envelopes that are all the same size? Well, I got you covered. So I have this tall one, which is like the same ones as these, right? And they're just like the regular ones, and I have filled these pockets and I have decorated. And so you can see that I have three different sizes, graduated sizes of envelopes. And so that's what I came up with for that. Not pretty? I like how this turned out. And then it just clips shut, like so. And again, it's one of those, oops, it's one of those things where you can either use it as is, like if you just wanted to throw it in your purse and you just wanted a couple lists or put your coupons in, or you know, if you had a couple of things that you just didn't want to lose, you know, if you had uh, returns to do or something and you want to keep the receipts, it's a great little thing for that. And uh, I will tell you though, that I covered this with paper and it's not at all even if you can see that I kind of scooped this one and this one I pieced I ended up piecing it would have fit I had the piece I just cut it too deeply it's not that easy to do to do that I mean it looks okay um, it's not ideal it's nice to do it right the first time if you know what I mean so that one is already decorated and ready to go so I'll just put that in with my other things all right, so first things first, let me show you how we get to this stage where the envelopes are all glued together. So you decide how many envelopes you want, because I mean, really, you could just kind of keep going because you just glue the one envelope onto the flap of the next and so on. So you turn these upside down and open these up. You have to have them all the same direction, right? So then this one gets glued on here and this one gets glued on here. Is that making sense? I hope it is. Now, 
here's the thing about gluing them. If you glue them exactly evenly, it won't close. So you have to give yourself a little bit of a gap so it's tighter for the first the first one could be like right tight but this last one needs to have just a little bit more of a gap so that it can accept this whole big thing coming over all right so each progressive one that you add if you're going to keep rolling it you have to make it just slightly wider all right so i just used uhu glue stick which is perfectly fine to use for this so go around right up to the edge. Usually I use a glue book for this, but I should probably do that. All right, so and I'm going to line that right up to the, the crease and press that down. Good. So our first one is glued on. All right, my glue book. I better bring that, especially for this one where we're going to be monkeying around a little. All right, so this one, as I said, doesn't go right to the crease. So, you want to watch that we're kind of lined up along this edge and then along the bottom edge too, because we won't be able to line up perfectly. And I'm trying to leave like an eighth of an inch or like three three millimeters in between all right so let's see let's see if this worked fold 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 yay it worked it really worked and look at this uh folds over in the same spot on there all right so now is the decorating part so i'm gonna i'm gonna put this one to the side and we're gonna bring this guy out so this is the the easiest easiest one to decoupage because really when you open a napkin up it basically is that whole space watch this is the one I think I'm going to use so let's see this one is directional that is I might want to think about which way I want this to go like if I want it to open this way which is fine then my pattern needs to go whoops I have you upside down. Sorry about that. It needs to go this way. And that's going to fit perfectly on this envelope, too. Just look. See? That's going to be space to spare. Millimeters to spare, but space to spare. All right, so with napkins, I don't know if you've seen some of my other videos, but they are three ply. And the easiest way to take them apart is scotch tape, sticky tape. So. Just make a little ball and just tear it a bit and that will lift up the first layer so you want to pull them apart in layers so they're usually they're usually three ply so let's just see <laughs> I always save these white bits because you can use them as tissue paper um, you can use them for all different kinds of projects. So I'm just going to put that to the side. All right, so let's get our next layer. So it's the same process. Just use your sticky tape. Pull that up. Come on, baby. Don't tear off. I need you to keep going. Come on. Oh, yeah. Good. We got past the tear. I wasn't sure if we were going to. All right. Well, this is definitely a lot more stuck on. I did want to show you about doing this because I haven't done this on camera in a little while. So this one needs a little bit of working. <laughs> so how y'all doing? <laughs> how was your Easter? Is it still going? Are, you, are your kids off this week? My kids are very thrilled that we're gone to homeschool light this week. Just a little bit of reading and a little bit of math every day. Well, it's not Easter Monday, but the rest of the days just to not have to restart from scratch and come back. Plus, they get bored if they have nothing to do. They do find things to do. But honestly, we like reading anyway, so that usually happens whether it's on the schedule or not. Alright, now it's coming. 
Good. So this one, I don't know if you can tell, but there'll be a faint, a faint imprint of the pattern usually. And so that's in the second layer. You can kind of see the boots are really what shows through. That's kind of fun. Anyway, so you can decoupage with white glue. You can decoupage with podgy. But did you know that you can also use glue stick, which doesn't have hardly any drying time and is a heck of a lot less messy than all the white glues. So I'll just get my glue pad out of the way for right now. So I'm going to do the envelope flap also. So don't worry if the glue disappears. Um, glue, the glue stick says it needs to have two layers of glue to be reactivated. So I usually go around the outside first, which is the part that has to stick the most. And then I go inside and then I reactivate the outside. And I do use quite a bit of glue because, well, we're trying to decoupage, so we kind of really do want glue basically everywhere. All right, here we go for the outside again. And I really want to get those creases as well. So the nice thing about the glue stick is, um, if you make a oh, if you make a little uh, mistake, you can always kind of fix it. It just I'm gonna try lining it up here a bit because if we line it up, the pattern will be good there. So how fast was that? Oh, see. Oops. Well, I'll just patch that. That's the nice thing about this all over repeating drop, drop, repeat pattern. It's like wallpaper. Does anybody use wallpaper anymore for their walls? I know we use it in our scrapbooks and our crafting stuff, our junk journals, but I actually do have wallpaper in my, my master closet. I found this antique wallpaper that I really liked. And I'm like, God, I put it somewhere. It was the inspiration for my my bedroom colors. It, it's a cream background with red flowers and gray silvery flecks all over. And so those are kind of the colors in my bedroom. I kind of like the fact that it's kind of this antique and delicate pattern. And I love that when you open my closet door, there's a little surprise there. That is if the closet's neat, which it usually is. The nice thing about hanging things, right? Okay, well, my cutting leaves a bit to be desired there for some reason. Got a little bit of jaggedy bits. All right, so I always, I always think I'm gonna cut the, the envelope, so I'm just trying to be very careful that that doesn't happen. All right, up this side now. Okay, I think the rest kind of tucks in. All right. So I want to patch that spot, but I want to keep the pattern right. So, oh, the pattern goes both directions. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Alrighty. So, we need a little tip of the umbrella. That's kind of the part that's there. So, is that this? Oh, it's just a little bit big. Shoot! Okay. Okay, how about over here? Trying not to waste too much, right? Is that going to do her? That's the spot. Alright, so I am going to just go like this. And I'm just going to put that whole strip right on there. Okay. 
So potentially you could just tear this right off. But I'm going to cut it off. Okay. Just give that a bit more love right there. So very happy with how that is. That's fun. And then this side. So this side, again, see there's enough of this napkin to cover the whole of this side. So shall we? Shall we try? All right, so here's where you have to be super careful. You could always you're thinking ahead you could put a glue page in your envelope so that if you over glue you're not going to glue on the inside part of the envelope which is you know smart so let's do that so I especially want to pay attention to the edges of course all right pull that guy out and I'm going to try lining this up as best as I can so that we use as much of this we don't waste as much of the scraps. All right. So now I did my other one the opposite way. I started at the top and went down, but this makes more sense to me. Once I was starting to use it, I realized, hey, then we have the straight edge right there. All right, so here's the part that's trickier. So now we got to get that V, remember? So there's me getting my straight edge for the next one, sort of. All right, so the, you can see there's a faint line, a shadowing there. Okay, so let's pop open the envelope and you might see it a little better. So I'm not going to go actually right to the edge. That's the trick. So you go almost to the edge, cut this little bit out, and then you go like this, and you put the glue on the inside lip. And you just tuck it. Oh, come on, don't really shut me. I was able to do this, but I didn't have to worry about camera angles, so. Just kind of work it all the way in. There we go. See how nice and sharp that looks? So, next side. Again, just run your glue stick up like that. And then flip through, tucky tuck, tuck, hucky tuck, tuck. And it's nice and sharp looking. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful, if I don't say so myself. And I did get over the edge a little here, so. You can always clean up the edges. All right. All these little fluffy bits, huh? Next one. Same idea. Here we have the drill. So today is kind of a relaxing day, Sunday, and we are pretty much chilling out. I just have this video to do and then I'm going to edit some, do some editing and see if I can figure this out. Remember, if you look at my, my goals that I'm trying to learn editing. Oh, I should pull this up. And 
That's my big goal for April, so I just get to it already. I keep procrastinating on it, but I've given myself time to figure it out. So, so now i got to figure it out. And, uh, so I think I'm going to spend some time doing that today. That, like, I realize that for you today is Tuesday, so I'm talking about Sunday for me. So it's just pretty relaxing. Easter Sunday, so the kids got to have some Easter chocolates, because I don't know if you celebrate Easter or not, but if you do... Even though my kids are teen, preteen, if I didn't have chocolates, there would be a revolt. <laughs> it's the one time we're allowed to get sugar on purpose. So, so that's already been done. So they're happy about that. So we'll see. Um, you know, we're kind of going to play some games and just kind of have some family fun today. Cannot get in there. There we go. And uh, so, all in all, it promises to be a nice, easygoing, and relaxing kind of day. I'm not trying to cut my thumb, but it does look like I am. All right, so even like like that's just that's an umbrella right there. That's pretty cute. I mean, I could decoupage on anything like that. It's adorable. Okay. So inside, inside lip boy, this does not want to. Bend it out as much as the other one did. There we go. It is a little trickier to get the glue in there, but it is completely possible. So I think best to go with the folded down edge and have that nice sharp edge, nice clean. Nice clean edge. I love how that looks. All right. Next one. We're going to probably do some Easter egg dyeing today, too. And I'm kind of excited about that. I think we, we bought two kits, one for each of the kids. That one was a mermaid one, so that's obviously for Vaden. <laughs> as we keeps everybody keeps saying that. Uh, he doesn't find it as amusing as the rest of us do. And then there's a funny face one, which is obviously for Rachel. <laughs> uh, we are so funny, aren't we? As parents. We always think we're funnier than our kids do. <laughs> Okay, so the top one is actually easier to get into the pocket, as you can imagine. So that part's fun. This has got a double print here. I didn't notice that before I glued that down. Oh well. Okay. And it's just a bit damp, so the napkin doesn't want to cut as nice. And there is dull parts to the scissors, which I am obviously going to need to sharpen. Okay, and then across the top. And then up the side. So on, on the one that I did, let me just take a look at it again. I didn't do the flap. Okay, I was just checking. All right, so then we are almost, almost there.
this end that wants to keep sticking up. Just gonna get a little extra rubbing. Okay, so there we go. So this one is all done. I mean, all done to the stage of decorating it, but usually I would decorate these when it goes to go into my actual journal. Ugh, why can't I get a paper clip? Out? All right, so then you can just paper clip it or you can use a bull, bull clip or a binder clip or whatever. Um, they work wonderfully, but I think this is really fun for spring. Great. Okay. So I don't know if we're gonna get all these done. Let me check, whoops. Let me check the time here. What are we doing? Why can't I read? Oh no, we're still good, okay. Lights just shine in my eyes. Okay, so so this one is um, you know like a magazine you send in you know to purchase our Canada. So it's got pockets. Oh, why is that open there? That's weird. Okay, so for some reason that's open there. So I'm just going to put a bead of glue under there so that that pocket stays shut. I wonder how come that got sliced. This probably how it came out, I guess. Hmm. So I'm just putting some tacky glue in there. Because pockets see a lot of in and outsies. And so we don't want that to open up and have somebody lose their treasures out of there. Not that, I mean, it's folded up, so it should be good, but anyway. So obviously, this is probably not what we want to see. And if we decoupaged a sweet little napkin on top, you can see how we're going to see right through. Now we could do uh, what my swapper did, which was put layers down like tissue paper or pattern paper and then Kleenex over top, but um, this is quite dark and so that is just not going to serve us. So now we're on to either doing like I did on this one, which was with scrapbook paper that were scraps or Da, da, da. My trusty bucket of book page scraps. I think that's what we're going to use. I want to try decoupaging with book page scraps. So I'm going to pull out just a variety of different kinds of pages. Oh, that's a nice stiff one. I'll actually put that in with my other. <laughs> That'll be good. And there's this little book. Ooh. Touch. I'll pull pages out. This is a very old book. So I'll pull. Come on. A few pages out of there. another old book. Okay, that'll give me some different text font size and sizes to, to deal with. Okay, and so we're going to take our glue page here. Keep it there. All right. So let's start with the one with the scrappy bits. That's, that's good times. And we're just going to Start glue in, because why not? All 
All right. So we've got a few little choices here. Now, I don't even care if we have full coverage because we're obviously covering with text, and that's what makes it kind of fun. So we've got to make sure that we don't cover the pocket opening. So when I get up to the top, I can just go and tuck it under. Right? Oh, this one's open too. Well, this is so bizarre. I am not sure why these are open. to make sure it wasn't. Okay. Remember what I said about not needing to cover all of it? That's a totally different font. So I like how that looks. All right, so I am going to cut that part off, but after it dries. All right. Some of these little tiny bits have been begging to be used for a while. B ones. Let's. Oh, <laughs> this is more than one page. I'm like, this is really stiff. But that would be why. I'm just tearing off the. Just a rough tear. I could use my ruler too if I want to be a little more precise. And actually, might not be a bad idea. There's some parts of this. So this is hand torn, and then this you just put the smaller side underneath the ruler and tear against the ruler like so, and it makes a pretty straight edge. that'll allow me to do. I 
that's going to glue the top bit of that because we're going to tuck it in. Over the top, like so. Just tuck it in. There we go. All right. the other kinds of papers here. Oh yes, this Kim paper. Kim is also yellow. What if we popped in some of this white stuff? Oh, I have some here. Oh, it's not big enough. That was the problem, Darla. This edge pretty clean and this one pretty clean because it's going to be harder to cut those ones obviously. All right. So I am just going to tear the top of this one off a little and I'm going to follow the text line so that I get a even kind of, you see what I mean? I followed kind of along the sentence there. getting the idea that there's a lot of different ways you can decorate these and they'll look quite different depending on what it is that you end up doing. Might as well put that on too while we're here. Let's get it out of the way. So soft, the, like I know it's old, but it's uh, it feels like silk. It's such a smooth surface. It's not dry feeling like usually old books are, which is really interesting to me. It has a very interesting feel to it. Okay. ones to the side for right now. Alright, let's see. What if we put a little piece along there? Up to there. very smoothly so I'm gonna get the old college try here with this uh, ruler hope you don't mind me collaging a bit 
I do like it. It's very therapeutic, you know. <laughs> My glue stick's getting all mucky. I didn't like going over the seams of the envelopes very much when I was doing that. So I think I had it all gooped up pretty good. Long pieces. Oh, I must have used them already. Okay, what about putting this piece here? Yeah. strip there and something there. So what shall we put there? So this maybe? Actually no, we got more on this side. Let's grab this side. Smearing the bit for my finger on there. Might as well use it up, right? There we go. All right. Yeah, I like how that turned out. It's uh, very neutral, which is good, which means we can kind of put whatever decoration we want on it. So there's a couple things we could do. We could ink it just by running an inking dauber or like in my case, a makeup sponge over it. Or we could paint and do a, like a color wash and kind of paint over it to get a little color on there. Or we could leave it as is and we could do a napkin over top of this. So like instead of um, like before, how we did it just straight over the, straight over the thing we could do that looks quite amazing, right? And I think I might do something like that on this one. How are we doing for our time? Oh, but we are at time. So I am going to finish this up off camera and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you'll have a lot of variation depending on what kinds of envelopes you have and like endless variation. You can even do different sizes like I was showing you. Um, so I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did, if you got value out of this video, then I'm going to ask you to hit like, subscribe, definitely let me know which one did you like better and what method do you think you want to try and share, share with other crafty people and let's keep the inspiration rolling. Take care everyone. We'll catch you in the next video.